began making videos a few years ago, I was inspired by uh, YouTubers like Harold, Harold Bader and uh, Walden Bankrupt. They were kind of a team back then. And what I liked most about them is they were really authentic. They just went out and did what they did, walked around. Harold liked his motorcycle. He used to drive all over northern Thailand and made videos about the places that they were passing through and told some stories. And I was like, I can do that. I'm going to be a walk and talk kind of guy because I don't do motorcycles, but I got plenty of stories. So I bought myself an iPhone and a stick to hold it with and set out doing my walkie talkie storytelling videos. They didn't do well. Well, with a little attention to detail and you know, looking around a little bit, you know, just trying to be thoughtful about the setting that I picked to, uh, to shoot my videos. I wanted to continue to walk and walk and talk style. I kind of like that. I wanted to maintain my authenticity. So I looked for places that were a little bit quieter, where I didn't have to shout into the camera to the church. Yeah, that didn't do very well either. I had one of my viewers, a woman, tell me to stop shouting at her. <laughs> So, it was time to give some thought to setting and equipment. So, I upped my game equipment-wise a little bit, put a, 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 a better camera and a, uh, and a microphone to go along with it. And now I'm also quite conscious of the settings that I shoot in. I don't, I don't want to be yelling at people. <laughs> so. Another YouTuber that had a really positive effect on me was a young guy by the name of Tom Scott. S-K-A, S-K-A. And uh, Tom was very popular on YouTube like 10, 8, 10 years ago. And he worked with cartoons and he was very clever and humorous. Loved it. I like trains. Problem is, is that I, I didn't have a cartoonist. And because of Tom's popularity, he was making money and he could afford a staff. And he had producers and videographers and a handful of people that all work for him. So, you know, I didn't see where I could go with that. But what I took away from Tom's videos is that, you know, perhaps if you, you know, think creatively, you may be able to do something with the ideas you get from gentlemen like Tom. I like trains. Well, I don't want to be copying Tom outright anyway, but uh, I had fun making that little short video. I don't know what happened to Tom. I don't see him posting videos anymore. He was a really young guy when he had all that popularity. Perhaps he needed to get a real job. <laughs> so taking all this information about sets and mics and creativity and other YouTube guys and what they're doing and my walk and talk style that I really like, I'm wandering around Bangkok shooting the way I normally do, trying to apply all of that learning into what I'm doing, and up pops Jorma, the explorer. Jorma makes very good videos. He employs a lot of the things that I'm talking about, including some pretty clever cinematography. His sound is good, his ideas are good, but yet he's just doing plain old walk and talks like I like to do. As for the creativity part, he's bouncing along, he's walking, he's talking, and he's rapping. This one goes out to all the people in Bangkok, living life in the trenches every day. There's a war going on outside no man is safe from. You can run, but you can't hide forever from these streets that we done took. You walking with your head down, scared to look. You shook. Cause ain't no such things as halfway crooks They're never around when the beef cooks In my part of town It's similar to Vietnam God bless my soul Before I put my foot down and begin my stroll Into this drama I build And all unfinished beef You will soon be killed Put us together It's like mixing vodka and milk I'm going out blasting Taking my enemies with me And if not, they scarred so they will never forget me Lord, forgive me The Hennessy got me not knowing how to act Falling and I can't get back Or maybe it's the words from my man Kill the black that I can't say So it's known an untold fact Until my death, my goal is to stay alive Survival of the fit, only a strong survive 
So taking all that inspiration and information and rappers and YouTube creators and other things and putting it together into a style that I like and I'm happy with, I had to come up with something. I can't do rapping, it's out of my generational box. But that doesn't mean I can't try to approach this with a little bit of style, a little bit of fun, a little bit of creativity. There are old guys like me doing such stuff. Ever hear of Christopher Walken? <laughs> because of my friend Dennis, who manages the dollhouse bar on Cowboy. And that's kind of what I want to talk about are the friends that I've made through social media, through making videos on YouTube, but also on X, that, uh, formerly Twitter. That's where I met and became friends with Dennis. And he's uh, an American living here in Thailand like me, he manages the bar. And uh, he had to jump through a lot of hoops to make that shot happen. So, you know, hats off to Dennis. Thank you. I appreciate that. But this, this whole video was a lot of fun for me because it was a collaborative effort. When I reached out to Jorma uh, to see if it was okay to do a collaboration with him, he didn't only say yes, he was like enthusiastic about it. Now, the day he shot that video where he was rapping, uh, he left shortly after that, and he's not in Thailand anymore, but he's coming back, and uh, I plan to get together with him and meet him in person uh, and add him to my list of friends that I've made doing this. My payoff for making videos are the friends that I've made. Yesterday afternoon, I, was, uh, I, I went to a restaurant nearby where I live here called uh, the, the Coffee Club. People who live in Bangkok will be aware of it. They, it's a franchise. They have a few different locations. And um, I, I was uh, just having something to eat there, and this guy is looking at me, and as I leave, he said something about yoga. I was like, how do you know that I do yoga? And he, he's a viewer. He was, he was a viewer. So uh, I love the social aspects of what this of what this video making does for me. Uh, the light setup that you see here now uh, was, uh, uh, the guy who helped me with that is Bill from Chiang Mai, who's been a long time friend now. We've been friends for, I don't know, almost four years now. And again, we met through, uh, through YouTube. Bill is uh, one heck of a photographer and a videographer. He's really good at it, especially the technical stuff. And over, over the internet, he helped coach me into setting up the lights here. Uh, he has a channel as well. I'll link all these people who have links to be linked in, in the description below. Uh, the guy who shot the video on uh, uh, for me on, on Soy Cowboy was Dana, uh, another friend that, that I met, met through Bill, actually. So I, I have this community of friends that I've made uh, from social media. Uh, I post my stuff on X as well. I'll put a link down. I have links somewhere for that if you're interested in you know, and finding me on X. It's another platform that I appreciate because I can do other stuff there that I don't, that, that you can't do on YouTube, which because I'm a writer and a photographer and X accommodates, you know, written content, ph photography and, and videos. So I, I can put all three medium on that, on that channel, which I really like. And I'm getting some traction on that platform as well. So this is a, like I said, this is the payoff for me is the social aspect of social media. <laughs> Who'd have thought, right? So uh, I'm off to the Philippines again in four days. For those of you who are new to the channel, I, I, uh, I was in the Philippines about a month ago. I was there for five weeks practicing yoga. And, uh, and I'm going back. I'm going back for only a two-week period this time, ostensibly to focus on my yoga. There's a nice studio there where I can really get into the nuts and bolts of my yoga practice. Uh, but I'm also going to spend three days in uh, the, the mothership of, uh, of YouTube content creators, expat YouTube content creators in Southeast Asia, at least the old guys, 
uh, I'm going to Dumaguete. <laughs> and most of you that watch these videos, you know, know about the Dumaguete crowd of YouTube people. And I'm going to see who I can uh, make connections with there, maybe get them on video. I am writing a story about Dumaguete and, and the influence that those uh, YouTube influence have, influences have had on the Philippines. I'm, I'm putting a written story together for that. That'll be on X as well. Uh, and I might make a video about it. We'll see how that all plays out. So, uh, yeah, this is a great, fun video for me. Thank you for everybody involved that helped me make it happen. And, uh, uh, again, links down in the description of the people who did help me. And, uh, yeah, if you're still with me, <laughs> great to have you along. See you the next time.